Hi, so in this particular video we're going to start looking at uh, quadratic equations and it's actually using the quadratic formula. Now this is something that um, appears on the front of uh, your GCSE paper, the examination paper, and also uh, you can use it in order to solve quadratics relatively straightforwardly. Um, providing you uh, make sure that you follow a couple of the rules. The, the tricky bit with it is actually negative signs that can sometimes appear in it. So let me give you a typical exam paper question and this is going to be round about grade A, grade B, something like that on quadratic equation and the telling point of it is it will say solve to three significant figures. And as soon as you see that, you know that you're going to need to use the quadratic equation. So it'll say three sig fig or two decimal places or something like that. And what they're asking you to solve is this. Uh, it's 5x squared plus uh, x plus 11 equals 14. Okay, so um, when you see something like that, what they're looking for you to do is to find out the value of x. So we're going to solve it and find the value of x. Okay, so in order to do that, this is the tell, this is the bit that's important because that tells you that you need to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, I'll write it out for you, is this, and it's x equals minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, <laughs> all right, and after a while you do get to actually remember this, um, but it is written in the front of examination papers usually. Okay, um, it is fairly straightforward, and I'm going to sort of guide you through it, but it is usually, because it's three significant figures, it's also a calculator uh, question. So I have actually um, my calculations pre-prepared for this particular video, but you might want to use your own calculator and just go through this step by step with me. Okay, so the first thing is, if we look at the formula, um, we've got 5x squared plus x plus 11 equals 14. Okay, the problem with that is that's not in the uh, correct form for solving this type of equation. Basically, we need it to add or to equal to zero, so this is actually in the wrong place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus 14 from both sides, and if I minus 14 from both sides, it becomes 5x squared plus x, and minus 14 here will mean that's zero, and minus 14 here will become minus 3. And this is the correct format that we need to use for quadratic formula. Okay. So, um, the next bit is that we need to look at this formula and say, well, actually, this number here, 5, is the value of a. Uh, this number here, which is a 1, so it's 1x, is the value of b. And this number here, which is minus 3, is the value of c. And then, effectively, we take these values and we plug them into this equation. Okay. And what we end up with is two uh, distinct uh, values of x that are given by, in this particular case, I'll start putting in b, so it's minus b, so it's going to be minus 1, because it's positive 1 there, and it's going to be minus 1 here, so that'll be minus 1, plus or minus the square root. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but bear with me, and hopefully you'll be able to follow this through on your calculator as well. Okay, so I've got b again, which is 1, and it's squared. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write 1 squared like that. And then it's going to be minus. Now, this is where um, you're, you've got to be very careful with your minus signs. And you'll see what I mean. I've got minus 4, and it's going to be times the value of a, which is 5. And the value of c, which is minus 3. Okay. And that's all going to be divided by 2 times a, or 2 times 5, which is 10. Okay, so the tricky bit is going to be this, because effectively you've got a minus times a minus. So you've got 5 times minus 3 is minus 15, and then you've got minus 4 times minus 15, which is 
plus 60. Okay, so follow that through on the calculator and just be very, very careful to make sure that you do this little bit first. Okay, so what we end up with is two values. We've got y equals minus, uh, x equals minus one, um, and then we've got plus, okay, the square root, and I'm just gonna go through this again. I've got one squared, which is just one, and then I've got minus, um, five times minus three. So forget everything else, five times minus three is minus 15. And then I'm gonna multiply that minus 15 by minus four. Well, minus times a minus is a plus, and it's gonna be four times 15, which is 60, okay? And I'm gonna divide that by 10, okay. The other value I've got for x is going to be where this is minus because it's plus or minus. So if I type that out again, I've got minus 1 minus the square root of 1 plus 60, which is 61, and that's going to be divided by 10. Okay, if you put those two numbers into your calculator, you're going to get two values, one of which x is equal to and this is where I do have to copy from the board here. Um, I've got 0 0.681024. Okay, and I've got also x equals um, minus 0 0.881024. Okay, uh, and you'll get these sorts of uh, calculations, particularly with these kind of questions. Okay, so to three significant figures, the value of x is going to be 0 0.681, which is the third significant figure. I'm not going to need to change it. And also, value of x here is going to be to three significant figures minus 0 0.881. Okay, so I hope that's been okay for you. I'm going to post a few more examples in this particular playlist on how to deal with a quadratic formula. Um, I will put a full description underneath uh, in the description area. I hope it's been useful and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.